Hey everyone, Scoop Science here. If you saw my video last week, um, I was playing around with this tube, it had water in it, and I was testing out how the water acted with different pressures applied to it. But now, I'm going to take this tube again and try to make a manometer so I can actually measure the pressure inside certain things. So let's do it. Okay, so first of all what I'm doing is I'm just widening these staples here so they can fit over the tube a bit better. I'm just doing that by putting it in the vise and then, then opening it up with a hammer. There we go, so I got a few there. I'll probably make a few more. But then, here's my board that I want to put it on. And I'm thinking I'm going to cut the tube down a little bit. I don't quite quite want it that big, so maybe I'll cut it there. Using these terrible things. This should hopefully do the trick, yep. Nice, so. That's a little bit shorter, I like that. It's a good size. All right, so the next step is I want to get this tube and just hammer it into place, except what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a bit hanging out of the edge like that, because what I want to measure the pressure of for the, for the first time is a balloon, so I want to be able to put a balloon off the edge, so I'm just going to get a staple and put it there. Maybe I've opened up too much, I'll have to close up the staples a bit. There we go, hopefully this should work. It's actually come through, but there we go. So that right there is basically my manogram. All I need to do is fill it about halfway of water, so like that, and then we can work from there. Now I've got this ruler here. Um, the outside air is, I'm, uh, I'm about at sea level, so it's roughly uh, 101.3 kilopascals, and each millimeter so I've got millimeter rule here each millimeter that the water rises that's about 10 pascals so 0 0.01 of a kilopascal I think is the um, adding to that so I think what I'm ready to do is test this out I've got food dye here again so you can visualize the water a bit more but let's Let's get some water in that. Okay, so here we go. Adding some water. All right, now. I'm gonna add some food dye so you can see that better. So, like I mentioned in my last video, the water here always likes to stay level. That's because the pressure is the same in each side of the tube as it is in the outside air. But if I add more pressure over this side, which I'm going to do in a minute, then the water over here needs to then match the water over there. So this, this decides to rise. This goes down, this rises. And then, by however far it rises, compared to this, so this goes down here, then I gotta measure from here to up where it's risen. Then however many millimeters that is, that's how much more pressure is in over this side than this side. So I don't feel like I explained that very well. Uh, hopefully you guys are understanding, but let's open up some balloons that I bought earlier today. And
Let's do this, all right? Okay, hopefully that much there is not gonna be too much pressure, but and now 10 pascals of pressure is like nothing. It's not very much pressure at all. See, if I have this water risen by one millimeter, that means the pressure would be like 101.31 .1, uh, kilopascals. And that's not much difference to the outside, but let's hope I get more than that. Okay, so you can see here, I've just got the balloon taped up so the air's not in there yet. But water is still pretty well level. I think there's a slight difference from putting on the balloon, but basically if I take off this tape here, Okay, so there was a leakage. And I lost some more water too. But I'm going to try that again. I'll get more water and try that. Except I'll have to attach the balloon a different way, potentially. Alright, here we go. I've added more water and got the balloon here again. Now I've kept the tape on here because that should hopefully make it then easier to fit it around like that and then I'll just put more tape over it so hopefully I won't get any leakages this time okay you know I actually still reckon like that compared to that much airspace that's quite a lot of pressure in this balloon but let's hope that I don't have a leak it'll probably come up Go over the top, but then level out, so that'll be down there somewhere, this will be up here. Hopefully, I'll get something so I can measure it. Okay, so the tape is off. Now I'm just gonna slowly unravel this balloon. Oh, look at that. So look at that, I can control the pressure here. I unravel the balloon slowly. And you can see that, look at that. Oh no, there's a leakage again. It held about down there and up there, and then it just slowly moved its way back. But you can see that if I just gently squeeze on the balloon, I can make it bounce up and down. It's really fascinating how just a very small movement of my hand can create that much movement in the water just due to a little bit of pressure difference but this balloon just keeps leaking but hang on a second one thing I just noticed instead of that being higher than that one that one's higher than that one that's because of the vacuum that I created so actually If I can, I'll see if I can get that about straight. Alright, so what I've just done, because I got roughly that level marked out there, and it's about 7 millimeters difference. So, that means there's 70 pascals of pressure more in this, well, in the outside air than in here due to the vacuum that I created. So it's actually sucked it up a bit, lost some air through the leak. So that's 101.3 minus 0 0.07 and that's the pressure inside there. Uh, roughly, this is of course an 
I'll call it an ancient technique of measuring pressure. And you can hear the range just started. Okay, but now what I want to do is reattach another balloon onto there and hopefully have no leakages this time. So I'm not measuring the pressure difference of a vacuum then from the outside air. I want to be measuring how much pressure is inside the balloon. This is acting very strangely right now. What I've done is I've gotten super glue and I was holding the seal there and what it's done twice already is that's lowered, that's gone up and it goes back to normal and then it's did it again. And that's just gone back to normal now. But like I don't know what's happening. Can I can't really get the air from the balloon into there. That's because the tape there is actually holding it. Hey, look at that, it's doing it again. See that's rising. Now let's just wait and see if any anything happens. Okay, so it's still rising. It's gonna come spilling over the top soon. But normally it got to about there and it went back down to normal, but this one, I don't actually want it to spill out the top right now. And would you look at that, straight back to normal. Anyway, so that's fascinating what it's doing there, but let's put on another bit of tape. And now you can actually see, it's held where's about level somewhere about there it's got about eight or nine millimeters difference so okay but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off that piece of white tape there because if this seal the seal looks like it's holding that even just now that pressure difference there but if I t let's hope that the seal's good, I'm gonna take off this tape and it's probably gonna spill over the top. And then hopefully settle out to something, which would be nice. Finally, look at that. Okay, I've gotten a solid seal on that balloon. And it's sitting right there. I, not all the tape has come off, but some of it has, which has changed the pressure in here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move the camera over here so I can get in there. Now let's go like this. Now, right there. So the water has risen by that much over here. So now all I need to do is measure that. 10, 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38, 39. 39 millimeters. Alright, so the difference in level there is 39 millimeters or 3.9 centimeters. Which means that is 39 times 10, that is 390 pascals. If I divide that by 1000, I get 0.39 kilopascals. So, 101.3 plus 0.39. 101.69 kilopascals of pressure. I know it's not that different. I wasn't expecting it to be from that much of a balloon being blown up. So I finally ended up getting some good results with measuring the uh, pressure in this balloon compared to the outside air. I'm pretty happy that this actually worked. This um, was a really quick build. You can build one of these yourself if you really want to. It's nice and easy and this didn't cost me anything because it was just stuff that I already had uh, in the shed. But yeah, so again, pretty happy with how it worked out. Uh, glad that I got some results, uh, both with uh, the vacuum that I accidentally created in the balloon and with the actual pressure. But anyway, if you did, enjoy that video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.